their Twitter feed has been closed down, but they have an Arabic language Twitter feed, and in that they said that they had targeted this restaurant. And they said they did that because members of parliament, Somali politicians, frequented the restaurant, and they have attacked it before. What, do they, what are they trying to achieve with this particular kind of tactic in this particular location? Well, I think what's interesting is there's a general narrative coming from the international community and the Somali government, which is that Somalia is much more stable than it's ever been and that members of the diaspora are coming back to rebuild Mogadishu and the rest of the country. And, and this is a very positive picture. And the President and the United Nations and African Union have all said that these attacks are increasingly desperate signs from a militant group that is on the defensive. But having said that, people, ordinary people in Mogadishu feel very, very scared. They don't feel secure. One resident said that he actually felt more secure 10 years ago in the days of the warlords when uh, traditionally Mogadishu was described as this chaotic place where there was gunfire and sniper fire everywhere. But at least people were not being targeted by suicide bombings.